Welcome to my castle. I am so glad you came to visit me and my uncle, the great Count Dracula. But he's off shooting another movie. Did you know? It was one of the most popular movies at the time. Hmm, I believe you have some books in your library, Tyler Bye. Dracula doesn't play kickball. Dracula doesn't rock and roll. And my favorite, Dracula doesn't drink lemonade. Happy reading. I'm Count Morganula, reporting from my castle. Welcome to my laboratory. You may have heard of me, or maybe not, but I'm Thomas Edison, the great inventor. I was born on this day back in 1847. Happy birthday to me. What? You guys didn't get me a birthday cake? Or no, it was my birthday? Uh, well, maybe next year. Moving on, let me tell you a little bit about my childhood. That's the important thing, to never ever give up. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented this telephone. And today, you have these newfangled items called the cell phone. I just love it. And some of my other inventions are the electric light bulb. I have many more inventions. You can read all about me from books in your library in the biography section under E for Edison. Now, I must get back to my experiment. Thank you for joining me on my birthday. Oh, and next time, bring a birthday cake. I'm Cousin Morgan, and you may have heard of my uncle, Uncle Sam, where you can see his posters about everywhere. But today, I'm going to tell you about my favorite president. Those were some facts about Jimmy Carter. But did you know that Jimmy also published many books like Profit from Planes, and An Hour Before Daylight. Well, I hope we get some of those books in our library, but when you get old enough, I want you to vote. It's the American way. I'm Cousin Morgan, reporting on Jimmy Carter. Morgan here at one of the seven wonders of the world. Do you know where I'm at? Stay tuned to find out. I'll be waiting on you. Welcome back. If you said the Grand Canyon in the great state of Arizona, you're correct. Did you know the Grand Canyon is the largest canyon in the world? It is 277 miles long, four to 18 miles in width, and covers over a million acres of land. That's about 800,000 football fields. You can also find some cool plants like the yellow sunflower, the wild rose, and the prickly pear cacti. If you're the adventurous type, you can put on your life jacket, gather your courage, and get ready for a ride of your life by taking a white water raft ride. Or if you like animals, you can see the Grand Canyon by mule. Mule trips can be one day or two. Whatever you enjoy, there are many things to do at the Grand Canyon. It is an amazing work of nature. Visit and see what you think. I'm Morgan, reporting for WKPN. Morgan here, and I'm at the South Pole, one of the coldest places in the world. That was 98 years ago today. Looking at the globe, Florida is here, and Antarctica is way down here. That's some distance away. Some more interesting facts about the South Pole are, living in this weather would be very hard, but some people actually live in the South Pole. I've been in cold weather out in Colorado, but not this cold, brr. I'm Morgan, reporting from the South Pole. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? Oh, hey whiz kids, you caught me reading my favorite book, The Grouchy Ladybug. That ladybug is so grouchy and I love grouchy. But anyway, it's Sunshine State Young Reader time for third, fourth, and fifth grade. But we'll talk about that after the show opening. Stay tuned. Sunshine State Young Reader books are here. Some of my favorite titles are, Wow, I Have to Keep Reading. But I must say, 
I think they need to change the name from Sunshine State Young Reader. It's too sunny and happy sounding. To, hmm, I got it, Routes Young Reader. That sounds much better. Anyway, you better start reading. I'm Oscar the Grouch, reporting for WKPM. Mmm, fresh squeezed orange juice. I'm glad there are orange trees in Florida. Orange juice is made from oranges. Today's word is extract. Extract is to take or pull something out. Orange juice is made by extracting or squeezing liquid from fresh oranges. Enjoy a glass of orange juice. I'm Morgan, reporting for WKPN. Ooh. Morgan here at Beefs, getting ready for our spirit night. Beefs is one of our business sponsors. Beefs will donate 10% of all sales for the day. You can dine in or get it to go. Along with their good food, they have an arcade with games that you can play while waiting on your food. Now let me get back to my menu. See you tonight at Beefs. I'm Morgan, reporting from Beef O'Brady's. Some chicken, some provolone cheese, some Sausalito turkey. Hey whiz kids, today we're celebrating Sandwich Lovers Day. I'm creating the new famous Morgan Masterpiece. While I finish, let's begin our new show. Add some lettuce, some tomato. Sandwiches have been around for many of years. Are you a sandwich lover? Have you ever wondered how they came to be? He smashed them together and put them on two pieces of bread. Voila, the first sandwich. I'm glad the sandwich was created, but I'll stick with the Morgan Masterpiece over this grape and peanut sandwich. Which would you prefer? Happy Sandwich Lovers Day. I'm Morgan, reporting for WKPN. Howdy, Wagner Whiz Kids. Welcome to my chicken farm. I'm Farmer Morgan. We'll be back in a bit to talk chicken. Did you know that chickens come all the way from India? I love to eat chicken. Some ways I like to eat chicken are... That's all the chicken talk I have for today. I'm Farmer Morgan, and thanks for joining me on my chicken farm. <laughs>